Hi everyone, welcome to Right on Ayana. You know I should have a confidence. Right on Ayana. <laughs> I am Ayana Khalifa Sarafina Latifa. <laughs> and this is what is this? Me answering questions on you getting to know who I am. Now I ask a few family members and friends to ask me questions on you know what persons might like to know about who I am before we take this channel any further so these are some not even some a few of the questions i got where are you from i am from a place called trinidad and tobago located in the caribbean i mean come on i'm an island girl, you know don't know how to swim but i'm an island girl. don't live close to the beach but i'm an island girl. i should live on the hill the best place did you go university? If yes, what did you study? Yes, I went to university. I studied psychology. Although my sister begged me to study English too. I said why? She said, because Yana is a writer. I said, okay then. Well, it's like I got a job with my psychology degree, but that's a different question. Maybe I should have listened. Any horror stories? <laughs> yes, there's many, but I'll give you one. Um, years ago, my family, some of my family, Trinidad, and I went to a neighboring country. I went for the name, and we were going to visit our aunt, and it was getting very late, right? So it was getting so dark, and then someone turned. Like we always walk in one direction and then like we would talk in that and stuff and then we just saw some one of our cousins my name is an entourage of us because there's a lot of cousins right and they just bust out and start to run so obviously we were start to run too and then we look back look up to see a big ball of fire running behind us mind you i'm probably about four to six at the time they're short <laughs> Run it. So they both had nothing on me. Right? So that was one. So this I will never forget it. Um what are some of your fears? Well then I was afraid of whatever that thing was, which you all know what it is now. I don't think I have to mention the name. But today I only fear God, of course. What advice would you give to your teenage self? Well, I never really understood that question, you know. I always remember saying they're speaking to their self or again, advice to teenage self, whatever. You see, they're self done gone though. Why do you think they have advice in the past? Okay, but anywho, what I would say is, I would say to myself on a whole and even teenagers out there, don't don't allow people to determine who you are also don't feel compelled to care what everybody thinks if you do that you will go mad the only person should care what you think or what you do is you and god once you do the right thing that is all that matters you know because they will try to please everyone and that never works you can never please everyone so please yourself and please god Favorite food, cuckoo, fried fish, and curry. Is there anything better? The cameraman gave my thumbs up. Is there anything better? I think not. Most dislike food. Any little thing they like to cook, I'm putting a pot, you go on and I'm nasty in it. I ain't to that. And they went. You see, there's a cameraman. <laughs> <laughs> I don't be cooking no baby rabbits. Right? J1007, my rabbit, God rest his soul, who died, would have been very distraught if I had to cook a rabbit right now and eat it. Oh, this is like something else, boy. This is where you get first. You want to share a little on how that rabbit died? <laughs> Somebody really came to fun. I'm saying it was me. But somebody left it open 
and Terra, a dog, and brown dog. That was the only dog in brown dog. Rip him up. God rest his soul. God rest his soul. Let's take a moment for the one double and seven. Okay. Uh, people you followed went over stupid. <laughs> This one was a good one. All right. Yes, yes, I go, right? We, I used to go Sunday school. My cousins and I. And I think we were probably between the ages of 2 to 10 pretty much. But I know I was about 4 years old. Yeah, 4. And our Sunday school teacher, Auntie Patsy, joining everybody's Sunday school teacher, her name is Auntie Patsy. Apparently. And every community to have a party. Exactly. Anywho, I started school and um, teacher and she was asking, she was saying, you know, there was a specific dance she wanted so a group to do. And I think the song was um by Judy Jacobs. Um and I will worship you. And you that song, right? You're calling it here. Yeah. And um she was asking, she was saying, you know. Who wants to do the song? Who wants to do the dance to the song? And I remember telling a cousin of mine, well, the same interest when I said, you know, I would really like to do the dance because the dance looked like fun. But I was afraid because I was a very shy person at that time. And she's like, do it, do it, you should do it, man, you'll be good. I said, no, 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 I don't want to do it, but I want to do it, you know? Like, yeah, double mind. And she's like, do it, do it, man, you'll be a four years old, eh? And at the party, I said, I said, who would like to do the dance? Raise up a hand. And she said, Auntie Patsy, Auntie Patsy, Ayana wants to do it. I was so upset. I said, I was so upset. I was like, Freak, no. And then Auntie Patsy was like, Yeah, I want to do it. Now I can't say no because, again, I'm a shy person. I'm not confrontational. Or something. I was only four. So I was like, mm hmm, like, yeah, I will do it, you know. But I swore on that day I will never speak to that girl again in my life. She had no right to show my lady, but you know. But I'm four years old. I think I was not going until 10 or 11. From four to, let me just say 10. I've never spoke to that cousin again. You know why she spoke to me? I was up the road because I was lied to by my mother. Yes, mommy, I know you're seeing this. Because they said, oh, you're not going to be a for your birthday with my sister and, you know, and her father and stuff like that. And then it was canceled. I thinking it was canceled. My mother told me last night, oh, it wasn't cancer. That was just to deter you so you wouldn't know you go and get a surprise party. 10, 26 today. You so much years those lying to me. Anyway, we wouldn't go there, right? So, 10 years old, on my 10th birthday, I was up the hill, minding my business, home, vex, because I didn't get to go blue basin. And then my cousin came, then we called she Cassandra. She come. She said, Yeah, I can come to you for the party. I said, No. And even if I was having a birthday party, you was not invited. You know what? Them train birthday party for me and my grandparents also. So I walk in coming to see my grandparents' neighbors, children running down. I said, But well, where's all the disruption? I said, Don't tell me. Cassandra was right. You know when I reach in my grandparents' house, happy birthday, Ayana! You know? Guess who showed up at my party? Cassandra. You know when we start back talking? When we was looking at the cafeteria that over two months ago. <laughs> Cassandra talked about it, she said, Yana. Because she's my baby now now. I think she has a future. She Yana. Where yours? And that's how we start back talking. From four to twenty. <laughs> what was it like growing up in Lavanville? See, you can run and watch the map kind of funny. I did what we did. You better say good things, you know. Nah, Lavanville was the best. I don't care what nobody said. Lavanville is the best community. Tongue. I'm a tongue song. Lord, I don't put all that. <laughs> Hands down. Lavanville is the best community. I know a lot of people want to disagree, but let me tell you why. Pretend you know nothing about Lavanton and just listen to what I do and say. When I was young, extremely young, right? Like childhood. 
all the neighbor's children, all my cousins, again, when I tell you all, it's a bag wagon of us, right? It's many cousins. And one of us, and one of us play me yard, pan, cup, marble, pitch, um, pop scotch, um, skip, um, aqua pan cup, right? Yeah. We used to play catch and rescue police and things, we used to play all kind of things. And then it wasn't just us alone, it was like me, but children, we were close with everybody. Climbing up mango tree when I was driving up, but that's not the point. Cl mango tree, climb cherry tree, making plum chow, mango chow, cherry chow, grover chow, um, treasure hunt in the gully. Woo! That was good. I tell you, Lavantel is in having most of the sweetest people. I would like to say that their whole attitude, everything. Like, I'll give you an example, right? I walk up the road now and walk through the street and people be like morning lover morning honey morning sugar plum the only place people that's called me small wendy anywho right i went at a certain place um i remember moving from lavantel and then i went at a certain place to stay and you know you had this happy momentum about you because you're from lavantel and everybody happy up here and when I went now, despite you know, and when I went now, I was like, morning, 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 morning. And people me like, cool. So, um, I know we used to play sports, football, cricket, and uh, basketball. We used to go to my basketball court and play. Um, what else we used to do, boy? I mean, I'm, I know, I know, you know, Lavantel do have its problems, but everywhere else as well uh, lavender is just a few rotten apples that cause the stigma for the community but they are really nice people up here very well educated and very respected here. And amen so you should give lavender a chance look at the positive i mean the negative is hard to ignore but it's all over and negative you know no way it's perfect but just one minute. Next question is Have you ever been friends with someone and you are secretly jealous of them? Never. Never, 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 never. And I can say that. My mother taught us from very young to never be jealous of people and what they have. She said, because you don't know how they get it, whether good or bad, never be jealous of people. And always be thankful for what you have. So you know, like if your friend might have a dolly and you don't, that's okay. They could play with some cricket, they could play something else that they might have. You know, be grateful for what you have and not be like, oh my gosh, you have a dolly, or whatever. And you know, sometimes that does be real. We live it in the world. People do craziness for things. We're still fit. Just one now. Next question is. Have you ever been friends with someone and you are secretly jealous of them? Never. Never, 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 never. And I can say that. My mother taught us from very young to never be jealous of people and what they have. She said because they don't know how they get it, whether good or bad, never be jealous of people. And always be thankful for what you have. So you know, like if your friend might have a dolly and you don't, that's okay. They could play with some cricket, they could play something else that they might have, you know, be grateful for what you have and not be like, oh my gosh, I'm a dolly or whatever. And you know, sometimes that does be real. We live in the world. People do craziness for things, you know? And they might say, oh, I wish I was her. I wish. No, darling, you don't want to be her. Because you don't want to sacrifice the things that she sacrificed. You understand what I'm saying? Lose integrity that she wouldn't need throwing. So, never, never jealous of anyone. Can't say the same the other way around for me. I mean, if you have friends who are jealous of you, they weren't friends to begin with, right? Um, next question. What's your dream car? I don't really know cars. I just like the way how some of them look. But I think maybe a Lamborghini for now. Until they make flying cars that can be turned into a boat and drive on the road, I will stick with a Lamborghini for now. Next question. 
Did you ever have a friend who did something to upset you? Did you confront them about it or did you tell everyone else? Well, back then when I was younger, I wasn't, as I said, I was not a confrontational person. So, it would be hardly that I confronted them about it. But I will talk to my mother. I said, I said Mommy, you know, let me just call her name, Brenda. You know, Brenda hurt my feelings, so she said something so sore that my mother would say, Well, how did she say it? How was her expression? You know, like she won the whole story. What, what did you say first? What did she say? Give me a child time to speak. Lavender, they don't need AC. Yeah, so she, my mother, will want the whole story. She just doesn't want to hear what the person says. She wants to hear what I tell the person first. How we interact, you know, interact and stuff. Again, let the teacher speak. Um, yeah, so I and she might say, Ayana, well, I don't think she mean it to offend you, you know. She might give me an answer I don't like. So I'd be like, okay. And I should say, you know, so probably she just let, let bygones be bygones and forget, forget. But I say, well, I'm not doing that. And then she said, well, do whatever you want. And then I'll say, I'll spend the next week telling Tom, Dick, Harriet, and Harry James what happened, hoping that they tell me what I want to hear. <laughs> but that is too much. So now I just cut to the tree. If somebody offend me, I say, listen, I don't like how you speak to me or how you spoke to me. Don't make it happen again. They will say, well, I don't mean it. I said, okay, I understand, but you know, don't raise your voice at me. I won't do it to you. Blah, blah, blah. blah. At that time, I go to mommy and then I'm not listening to what she have to say. And I go to the whole village to find out what they have to say, you know? So, yeah. But I never kept it in. Anytime I kept in anything, I just queue with anger. So, mm -mm. I don't keep in things. I let it down. As the girl on person said, what is her name? Elsa? Let it go. <laughs> okay, when the next one I'm gonna do. What? Okay. How much children would you like to have? I don't know exactly how much, but I know I would like that much. My grandmother on my father's side was a four triplet, um, four babies. Two boys, two girls. I don't think I can handle that. No, killer, I don't think I can handle that. Triplet. So I think I would like to have a twin. You know? One pregnancy, one set of delivery, and a twin to miss the twin. So, you know, I think that would be good. A twin. Could be girls or boys, it doesn't matter. But yeah. I guess that's it. For now. So I think that's it y'all, so please like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me as well, question for the video, um, what childhood games you used to play? Bye! Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy Look in the mirror if he is no friend to me It's not working out, maybe it's the chemistry It's time to break up so I can make a better me Better believe in your mind cause it's everything You can mold, shape, find almost anything All it takes is some time and some clarity To find your identity, it's mind over everything And Tobago. Love said. I just had to tell her. Okay, well, the same interest me. Oh, me. Oh. I'll cut out that one. Cut the dance to the song. And I'm like, oh, I'll cut out that again. <laughs> she raised up her hand. I guess that's it. For now. And thank you so much for being with me. 
Oh, that sounds sick. Just now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, it didn't. Yeah.